So hi, I'm Dr. Green Davies. And I'm Emma the Nurse. So I'm a doctor and sometimes I get a little bit carried away with the technical language. So Emma's here so that we can record some videos about medical stuff, but keep it really, really simple. So every time I get too technical, Emma's job is to be annoying. Is to <laughs> pull me up yeah. and tell me to make it a little bit clearer. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, I've just got my cholesterol results back and my triglycerides are high. What does that mean? And that's a fantastic question. I suspect there's even some health professionals that would struggle to answer that question. So you've just got back your lipid panel and on there is total cholesterol. And that's something like six. The next one down is triglyceride. And let's say that's come back at 2.6. The next one is HDL. And that might be, let's say, one. And the next one, LDL. And that's come back at 4.2. Now, most blood tests, they've got a normal range beside them, eh? Yes. These ones don't. And I think that's what makes it difficult. So we're going to focus on this one here triglycerides. So, what does it mean? Okay, we've got to start with carbohydrates. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> carbohydrates? What do you mean by carbohydrates? All right, so carbohydrates are sugar, flour, things that are made with sugar and flour, so that's cakes and biscuits, yeah, um, bread, uh, rice, pasta and noodles, potatoes and kumara, those are all the main carbohydrates. A lot okay. of foods there. So this is the key with a carbohydrate. They are sugar molecules joined together. So a piece of wholemeal bread is sugar molecules joined together. And when you digest it, that becomes sugar molecules in the blood. Yeah, or blood sugar. So hold on a minute, hold on, slow down. If I eat a piece of bread... Are you telling me it converts to sugar in my body? And actually, one piece of bread is the equivalent of three teaspoons of sugar. Oh my gosh. One piece of wholemeal bread is three teaspoons of sugar. And one serving of rice is 10 teaspoons of sugar. So it doesn't matter if this has come from a teaspoon of sugar or from a kumara, it still becomes blood sugar. And then, this excess blood sugar, what happens to it then? It goes to the liver. Hold on a minute, hold on, hold on. Right. Excess, so do you mean the extra? Yeah, so some of this will be burnt as fuel. Yeah. And some of it will be stored in the muscles as glycogen. Yes. But if you're still eating too much carbohydrate yeah. above that, it will go to the liver and it will get turned into fat. So will I put on weight you if I eat too put on weight. Okay. If you eat too much carbohydrate, you will put on weight. Mm. All right? And this fat that we make from excess carbohydrate is recorded as triglyceride. This one here. Okay. okay. So this person, where it says 2.6, they are eating too much carbohydrate because this process here is going about two to three times faster than it should. Okay, so if I reduce my carbohydrates and stop eating sugar, will my triglycerides come down? Exactly. Oh, That's perfect. the whole point. If you stop eating or if you reduce your carbohydrates, this person needs to reduce them by about two or three times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then they will reduce their triglycerides. And I would like the triglycerides to be less than the HDL. So that's why I'm saying that they're eating two to three times the amount of carbohydrate. Yes. Okay. Thank Here you. We are. Tri that's triglycerides <laughs> made simple. Thank you.